Are you ready? It's Q&A Tuesday time. Creepy Southern guys? <laughs> <laughs> that was Creepy Southern guy. We're gonna roll with a question from Jennifer, and Jennifer writes, Dear Marie, how would you teach entrepreneurial skills in the developing world? What could the curriculum look like? How would you tailor a curriculum to make it relevant to the local context or situation? I'm currently pursuing a master's degree in international education and work for a UN agency on international development issues. Nice work, Jennifer. I was a participant in Rich, Happy, and Hot Live this past fall. If you don't know what Rich, Happy, and Hot Live is, you better recognize. I'm so inspired but I'm unsure how to bridge the gap between the two worlds. Grateful for any advice or insight. You rock, Jennifer. No, you rock, Jennifer. So here's what we're gonna do. I want to get this concept embedded into your mind. Everything is figure outable. Everything. So you have this desire, right, to figure out a curriculum to teach entrepreneurship in the developing world. So I put myself in your shoes and I said, well, if I was Jennifer, what would I do? The first thing I thought about was uh, getting a super high-end research assistant to figure all of this out for you. And I went ahead and did that. So what I did is I went ahead and Googled how to teach entrepreneurship in the developing world or developing countries and I typed this in. Guess what? I came up with 2.75 million hits. Now the reason that I went to Google is because obviously in a video that's just about you know five or six minutes long, I can't really develop an entire entrepreneurship <laughs> curriculum for a developing world, which I don't know exactly what that world is or what country it is. But what I discovered was there's tons of people working on this already. In fact, I found an amazing New York Times article um, that talks about this very work and also names several organizations that are already doing the work. So why reinvent the wheel, Jennifer? I want you to to go and partner with these organizations. The internet is the best thing on the freaking planet. If you have something you wanna create, which is this, all you need to do is Google that shit up and then use social media, use your skills to just reach out to those organizations, make some contact and find out this, what is already working? There's people doing the work in the field, find out the best practices and then find out what's not working. Figure out what's frustrating them. Where, are the, where is this whole thing falling apart? That's where you can use your entrepreneurial skills and your creativity to really develop a curriculum that's gonna kick some major ass. And also, here's what I would do. I would take it to this next step. So if you start reaching out to organizations and developing relationships, uh, the way that you bring it down to a local context is simple. If you happen to partner with an organization that's already working in, for example, Bolivia, well, you're gonna develop a curriculum for them. If you start reaching out and you happen to make some really good inroads with people that are doing work in Sub-Saharan Africa, well, you're gonna develop a curriculum for those folks. Then once you get it right, everything will take care of itself. You know, one of the things that I always say to myself is clarity comes through engagement, not through thought. So through doing the work with these organizations, you guys will see the next step and you'll see exactly how to develop those curriculums and just kick some major butt. Cool? Cool. So check out below this video because there'll be a hot link to that New York Times article and anything else that I found to help get you started. So if you like this video, like it, like it, like it, like it, like it. Leave a comment. Tell me anything you want me to know. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, oh, yes. And if you are not subscribed yet to the Marie Forleo newsletter, you need to come on over to marieforleo.com and jump on it. Once again, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>